an Exodus reading. Today is March 18th. Our reading from Exodus is chapter 27. You shall make the altar of acacia wood five cubits long and five cubits wide. The altar is to be square and three cubits high. Make its horns on the four corners, the horns to be of one piece with it, and overlay it with copper. Make the pails for removing its ashes as well as its scrapers, basins, flesh hooks, and fire pans. Make all its utensils of copper. Make for it a grating of meshwork in copper, and on the mesh make four copper rings at its four corners. Set the mesh below under the ledge of the altar so that it extends to the middle of the altar and make poles for the altar, poles of acacia wood, and overlay them with copper. The poles shall be inserted into the rings so that the poles remain on the two sides of the altar when it is carried. Make it hollow of boards as you were shown on the mountains so that they shall be made. You shall make the enclosure of the tabernacle on the south side, a hundred cubits of hangings of fine twisted linen for the length of the enclosure on that side, with its twenty posts and their twenty sockets of copper, the hooks and bands of the posts to be of silver. Again, a hundred cubits of hangings for its length along the north side, with its twenty posts and their twenty sockets of copper, the hooks and bands of the post to be of silver. For the width of the enclosure on the west side, 50 cubits of hangings with their tent posts and their 10 sockets. For the width of the enclosure on the front or the east side, 50 cubits, 15 cubits of hangings on the one flank with their three posts and their three sockets, 15 cubits of hangings on the other flank with their three posts and their three sockets. And for the gate of the enclosure, a screen of 20 cubits of blue, purple, and crimson yarns and fine twisted linen done in embroidery with their four posts and their four sockets. All the posts round the enclosure shall be banded with silver, and their hooks shall be of silver. Their sockets shall be of copper. The length of the enclosure shall be a hundred cubits, and the width fifty throughout, and the height five cubits with hangings of fine twisted linen. The sockets shall be of copper. All the utensils of the tabernacle for all its service, as well as its pages, pegs, and all the pegs of the court shall be of copper. You shall further instruct the Israelites to bring you clear oil of beaten olives for lighting, for kindling lamps regularly. Aaron and his sons shall set them up in the tent of meeting, outside the curtain which is over the ark of the pact, to burn from evening to morning before the Lord. It shall be a dew from the Israelites for all time throughout the ages.